So this is where I grew up playing basketball at. I still play basketball here. I still kind of hang here with my friends and stuff like that. And it's, it's important to me because it's where I started to really learn about you know, how life works and how communication works. Started playing down here when I was like 11 years old. So, and I've been, I'm 30 now. So it's been a long time down here. Um, people have seen me growing up now, down here. A lot of the OGs down here have seen me grow up and I hope to be that OG that can come back and, and spark some wisdom or some, put an idea in, a, in one of the young ones here that, you know, they can really be anything. And that's why I still come down here and I still play basketball with them. It's important to me for a lot of reasons. It's um, the brotherhood, you know, the things that I've learned down here, the mistakes that I've seen people make down here, the negative things, the violence that I've seen down here, all I think really have brought me into a place where I can kind of speak on these records positively and, and try to, I would say, force some, some thinking um, to, the, to the youth especially that just because you grow up a certain way doesn't mean you have to end up that way. I would say my first real experience with art was at Morgan State when I went to college. Um, we had freshman orientation and I remember just walking out into uh, like our quad and there were like a bunch of people in a cypher just freestyling and rapping and stuff like that and you know I wasn't really into music before that but that kind of for some reason sparked my interest just to like the camaraderie like the brotherhood um, just the, the creative expression that I heard, really my first experience that I can think of that made me say, oh, this is something I want to try. The first four or five years, I was pretty bad in my opinion, but people were like, um, I like it, you know, just keep going, just keep practicing, keep sharpening. Um, especially like the older guys, they would just give me uh, motivation and words of encouragement and, um, you know, give me little gems that I might need to, you know, pretty much sharpen my craft. And I think once I got their approval, like, oh yeah, this is it. That's when I was like, okay. You know, I'm, I'm good enough to really, you know, take this further. Music to me is a place where I can kind of express my feelings, express um, things that I can't necessarily get out in a way that helps me, I guess, internally and helps me to stay positive and helps me to release stress, so to speak. So I always never really thought of it as, as a career path, but more as an artistic outlet. And if it was something that led to money, then great, because I'm already doing something I love. My wife had it, I had it. I was one of those um, asymptomatic so it didn't really affect me too personally, but I think that the 14 days was torture. <laughs> that quarantine period, I was going through it. Um, and we had a one-year-old in the house running around, so and it's hard to tell her why we can't go outside and you know reason with her on that aspect, so it was pretty rough. Professionally, staying at home with a one-year-old, again, I'll go back to that, and having a, my wife teaching upstairs and I'm downstairs trying to go in, in, in the meetings and we pretty much having a balance, you know, her, my daughter's schedule, and then our schedule is, is very tough. We're still doing that now, because we're still not back. If I look at it positively, we got to see some of her, you know, most precious moments, like, got to see her walking, start to walk, and you know, start to use the potty, and stuff like that. So, um, I think COVID really sat you down and kind of gave you, uh, made you really think about, like, what was important. On the writing side, it definitely did drain me. Um, just so much negativity, so much bad stuff happening. It's just like, I didn't even really want to pick up a, a, a pen at that time and write anything. But if I think about it from a DJ perspective, it was kind of beneficial because everybody was home and we got to do like, the, you know, the Facebook live sessions and you would have probably like mad people like just on your lives, um, listening, tipping you and stuff like that. And then people that wouldn't really have, you know, had the time to do that got to get exposed to your music in a way that you DJ and that business opportunities came out of that. And I hope just to get back to loving each other again. Like, I think that that's why this song is so important. Love is the cure because we've gotten to a point where like, we're scared to be around each other. We're scared. Like if you walk down the street next to somebody, I'm going to walk in the street because I'm afraid of what you have. And it's like, I think human connection is so important to like health. 